Alright guys, I am back with my review of this week's Ring of Honor TV show for February 23rd, 2013. And this one starts off with Kevin Steen coming out and he says he wanted to kill Ring of Honor, put it out of its misery after what Jim Cornette did to it. But now that Jim Cornette's gone, he cares about the company again. And it's about wrestling. So that's why he decided to give Jay Lethal a title shot, even though he didn't have to. And Lethal is the one who took out Cornette. And he says Lethal still can't beat him. So this was an okay opening segment, I thought. Uh, we get the finals of the Prospect Tournament with Tadarius Thomas versus Matt Taven. They show a video of Tadarius and Taven talking about facing each other. Truth comes out to watch the match from the ramp. And there's a woman... <laughs> with a, I think it says, I love Truth Martini sign, and she says, I love you, Truth, and Kevin Kelly says, this woman needs mental help. But Taven hits a flip right onto Thomas's face, and Truth tries to trip Taven. The ref takes a bump, Truth throws his boot into the ring, and Tadarius refuses to use it. So Taven picks it up, and he actually tries to use it, but Tadarius ducks, and he pushes him towards the ropes, but Taven ducks, and Truth hits Tadarius in the head with the Book of Truth. Taven covers him for the win. Um, <laughs> afterwards, Truth Martini gets in the ring, and he tries to shake Taven's hand. And Taven's like, nah, man, just get the hell out of here. And then Truth whispers something in his ear, and Taven's listening. And then he shakes Truth's hand and joins the House of Truth. I thought this was pretty good actually. The booking was um, a little strange for the finish here, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I like Taven joining the House of Truth, and I think I don't think he's going to beat Adam Cole though, because now it's Taven versus Cole for the TV title at the 11th anniversary show. But I don't, I still don't think Taven's going to win here. I mean, that would be a really big push for him though. Um, a lot of promos because they're really hyping up the pay-per-view so I got a lot of promos here Charlie Haas cuts a promo holding a baseball for some reason and he says BJ Whitmer won't make it to the anniversary show we get some CNC promos on how scum is trying to destroy Ring of Honor but they worked hard to get here and they won't let it happen this was a pretty good promo American Wolves promo on facing Rocky Romero the O'Reilly Fish promo on the Briscoes and Mark Briscoe, Rooster, Cock, Chicken. Um, I thought these guys did a pretty good job here with this promo. <laughs> They're about to hype up the Cole versus Taven match, so you're expecting some promos from these guys, but it just shows a, a close up of Truth Martini's face. This was awesome. Michael Elgin says Roderick Strong has picked a fight he can't win. Jay Lethal says that his distractions are gone and he's coming for Kevin Steen. And then we see Jay Lethal come out to the ring. He says Steen is full of shit. He's a master of mind games. And he thinks he can win because Kevin Steen thinks he can't. This was also pretty good. Uh, main event is Roderick Strong, Bobby the Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly Auto Parts, as Mark Briscoe calls them versus Michael Elgin and the American Wolves. So we got the Briscoes on commentary here. O'Reilly gets Elgin in a sleeper hold. Elgin bends over and picks up Bobby Fish and hits a German suplex on him with Kyle O'Reilly on his back. This was pretty impressive. Um, Roderick and Elgin are left in the ring while everyone else is fighting. Roderick hits the suplex backbreaker on Elgin for the win. And that was it. It was a pretty fun main event match here. And Overall, it was a good show. I know they were doing a lot of hyping for the pay-per-view. That made sense, but I enjoyed the finals of the Prospect Tournament. I'm glad they're doing something more with the House of Truth again. And the main event was pretty good. So next week is supposed to be the Briscoes versus World's Greatest Tag Team, where if they lose, they have to split up forever. So that's a, that should be a pretty good show, too. And I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view, so I'm going to do my predictions for the 11th anniversary show here soon. And that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this week's show in the comments, and thanks for watching.